Hello, today I want to share with you uh, a couple of techniques that Year 7 have been doing to create jungle habitats for their hybrid creatures. So the first technique that we did was learning how to do a wash. Okay. So to create a wash for their background, you want to take quite a large brush. Um, you can wet your paper first, can be quite nice. Uh, sometimes we just went in. Um, for this wash we want a nice light colour, so I'm going in for yellow. I'm just dragging that paint all over the paper. Until it's completely covered. It's a nice sunny background. Once that wash is fairly dry, go on with using a brown um, to put in some branches because our hybrid creatures might be needing somewhere to perch or climb. So we're going to add some branches onto there. Be a tall tree up here. Our jungle water. Now, if these come out uh, perhaps not quite dark enough, you can always do additional layers to add some depth to those branches. The next step we took was just to get some green paint and do some squiggly lines to be like jungle vines. So using the tip of our brush, um, we're just getting some jungly vines starting to kind of fill our page, different lengths, tightness. You can go for some slightly different um, tones. Just to start making it look a bit more jungly. Next technique we tried was how to create a fern, a fern like um, leaf. So first I'm just gonna create the skeleton of the fern. So we've got um, the center and then just some lines coming away from that. We're gonna use these as our guidelines as to where to kind of stamp on the leaves using this different technique, okay? So you're gonna get some paint on here and then, instead of dragging the brush across, we're going to stamp it down. So you're going to put the tip against one of these lines, and then you're going to continue to stamp it down. So you're just pressing the side of your brush down to create these little fern-like leaves coming out the side of here. Okay, get a bit more paint on there. Turn my paper around. So I've always got at the tip of the brush against that, that uh, stem. So to create these leaves, I've just drawn um, a line down the middle and then to create these, you just put the tip against the line, push down, you brush them, release the pressure to create that leaf, okay? So against this line, light on the end of the tip, lots of pressure, and then release. So it's just a different technique. We're not gonna worry about overlapping because that's what we want. We want a jungle, so there's lots and lots of greenery overlapping each other. So apply the pressure and release. Now, just by using these same uh, techniques, but perhaps using different size brushes or different um, uh, tones of greens um, and sometimes blues, um, you can create that layered jungle effect. So you could use the, the kind of dabbing technique just for random leaves. Um, you could use this one um, to create leaves of different, different sizes. So we could have some this, you can do petals, would be quite nice if you were adding flowers in here. Um, uh, you can just do some kind of random dabs or drags 
and just build up those layers, layering different things. So another quick look at the one where we've got our animals on it. Um, we want to get a nice, dense, jungly effect um, with different vines, different palms um, for your creatures to live in. There you go.